Sociolinguistics is the study of language in its social context, the way people speak in their normal, everyday lives. I'm a sociolinguist, so I'm interested in hot topics in society. For example, we saw a headline in the Montreal Gazette not long ago about how Quebec English is becoming incomprehensible to everybody in the world because all these French words like dépanneur are mixed into it. We saw another headline in Le Droit that said the reason French kids can't speak French well is because their teachers don't speak it well enough. Well, each of these catapulted us into a long-term, very detailed research project, both of which were generously funded by Shirk, to test these allegations scientifically. Language changes all the time. We don't know in which direction it changes, but sometimes the not only are the newer forms often considered to be very bad, this is the normal way uh, that people react to language change, but some of the holdovers are also very often stigmatized, especially if they're associated with social groups that are otherwise disadvantaged as well. Well, most people don't realize this, but language is one of the most visible and also the most palatable targets for discrimination. We can't say, I'm not going to hire you because you belong to X uh, ethnic group or racial group, but we can say, I can't hire you because you don't speak English, for example, properly. Je pense qu'il y a certaines formes qui deviennent associées avec certains secteurs de la société. En ce cas, il m'a amené direct à la maison, jusqu'à sa maison à le monsieur. Prenons une locution comme Vatassir, par exemple. Vatassir, c'est une variante de Vatassoir. Les deux ont coexisté depuis des siècles. Il y a certaines personnes qui détestent la locution Vatassir. Pourquoi? Parce qu'ils associent cette locution-là avec certains sectors of the society who are seen as bad for other reasons. I think the greatest accomplishment of this work is that it has helped debunk some very long-standing stereotypes about mixed languages, minority languages, and non-standard speech more generally. Maybe the best example is the example of language mixing, starting a sentence in one language and finishing it in another. This is something that exists in bilingual communities everywhere uh, in the world. It is anathema to everybody who has observed it because people think that both languages are being destroyed in the process. And our research has shown that, as a matter of fact, doing this requires uh, untold amounts of linguistic skills. And in fact, this is actually uh, not a defect, but a sign of advanced bilingual proficiency. This award is obviously a huge honor. It is a ratification of my research, which has often been very controversial. Uh, I'm taking this award as a ratification of the field of linguistics as a whole, a field that most people do not even know about, and the field of sociolinguistics in particular, and our efforts at trying to rectify at least some social ills through the study of language.